Hello and welcome to kind of a different video about Dwarf Fortress. This is a video covering a script for DF Hack that was brought to my attention over the past week and a half. This is a working script that lets you play Dwarf Fortress cooperatively with a friend in Fortress mode while not sharing menus. So there have been previous attempts at making multiplayer Dwarf Fortress in the past, and previously you had to share menus. Well, this lets one person control the game while another person is playing without the game paused. So you can have two people building stuff, you can have two people assigning jobs, messing with priorities, etc. Here's a screenshot of the actual uh, forum post itself. There's a batch file which lets you download the whole thing very easily, and it extracts it straight to your desktop and you can very quickly get this set up all you have to do is forward some ports all of the instructions are in the forum post and i will link that in the description of course but going forward it actually ran surprisingly well considering the computer that was hosting it our friend kirtonium a third player who wasn't actually playing was running this on a very old windows machine it, we were getting a decent frame rates, all things considered, and the game was playable. Uh, we could have the game unpaused while people were in menus that would pause the game, and we were able to get a little bit of a fortress constructed. Overall, it worked way better than I was expecting. Uh, the whole purpose of this video is just to kind of show some footage of it working, because I think that this is a fascinating curiosity, if nothing else. And, uh... So thank you very much for, you know, taking the time to check this little video out. Uh, I would like to try this again maybe with more people, see how many people give it a little bit of a stress test. Although I don't think streaming this would be a very good idea because IPs are very public as this is running in Chrome. This is running in a browser right now. Uh, we're both running in our own separate browsers uh, in different parts of Canada. And well, all three of us are in different parts of Canada, rather. And it's fascinating kind of watching, you know, stuff get designated with different cursors while you're working on other parts and places in the map. I did my best to sync up the footage. It's a little bit off, but you know, it, it's working for the most part and it's it's kind of bloody cool. I, I'm i impressed, actually. I wasn't expecting it to perform as well as it did. As far as tile sets go, as the client's tile set is the one that uh, ships out to everybody else in the screen. So we're just using this one because it was the one that came with the installer. You can swap the tile set out for anything you like. However, so if you want to use one that you're more used to, that's fair. I see this as a very useful little teaching tool for teaching play people to play Dwarf Fortress. I'd love to see this uh, script make its way onto the Steam Workshop when the Steam version of the game comes out. And honestly, this this has me really kind of stoked. I, I could use this to teach somebody how to play Dwarf Fortress in the future. Do you think that this has any practical applications? Is this something you'd use? Are you going to go try it out? Let me know. Uh, the, the comments section is open below. Also, shoutouts to Crutonium who helped us set the server up as initially we were having some problems because apparently TELUS blocks port forwarding in its entirety, which is insane. So uh, thank you very much to Crutonium for helping this video be possible. And shoutouts to, the, to White Rabbit over on the forums for creating this script because this is bloody cool. Go check it out. Links are down in the description. I'll give you guys a little a couple minutes of more footage just so that you can watch us play a little bit more if you like. And uh, thank you very much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more Dwarf Fortress stuff, there's a lot of it on this YouTube channel and on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash blindirl if you want to watch me live. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.